We are well into Minecraft 116 Nether Update on Legacy SMP, and the things around here, they're changing. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Legacy SMP server. Now, we are going to be going over to the Orc settlement a little bit later on, but I wanted to come and finish setting up the Nether You Mind shop because there is a load of stuff that I want to add into it off the back of the farms that we did yesterday. But before I do that, I did just check the other two shops. Fire resistance, boom, bish, bang, yes, three fire resistance potions taken which confuses me there's a sale on at the moment and you can get two for a diamond but it looks like they've just paid one diamond each stack no refunds i'm afraid absolutely no free refunds you've got to check your bag before you leave i'm quite pleased about that so the potion shop has made a few more diamonds now i need to get myself over in here because vigo said he bought a few bits i've not put the stuff from the shulkers loads of restock loads of new stuff etc have we flogged anything no no vigo what are you talking about <gasps> Oh, one, two, three, four. That is eight. Thank you very much. Nether bricks, no. Gravel, no one's going to buy gravel. Nether. Oh, oh, nether wart. That's a surprise. Okay, nether wart. Soul soil is my new one. Soul sa sold sand. What the hell is sold sand? It's not been sold. Oh, some of it has been sold, though. Look at that. Bargain. <laughs> oh, I just got to rewrite that. There we go. That's much better. We're 18 diamonds in, people. I've got my blackstone and my basalt variants. Quartz blocks, no. Nether quartz, no. Quartz or oh blimey. I might have to make use of the quartz to be honest. Nether bricks, no. Nether rack, never thought I would. Magma blocks, no. Blaze rods, no. Magma cream, no. Okay, that's all good. That's all good. So I've got nylium there. Wart blocks are there. I've moved the wart across, but we've got more wart blocks there. Um, nylium I've put in, but they're the only two. We've got the stems, both the crimson and the warped. And I think fungus and roots uh, with skulls. I tell you what, I've not done nether vines. I hadn't done the weeping or the twisting vines. They've not got anything in. And that is that. Right, I'm just going to fill this lot up. And then we can go and do something constructive with our day. We are all fully stacked now. So we've got a soul soil in there. I've also put in some nether gold ore because that's quite a nice decorative block. It's not good if you want to get the gold out of it. It's rubbish, but it's quite a nice decorative block. We've got the fungus and the roots and all that kind of stuff. Or also nether sprouts. Got nether sprouts in there too because you have to collect them by grind. So they're worth a little bit extra. Let's get ourselves going. I am busy making a boatload of bone meal because then I can turn the bone meal into bone blocks. I'm just literally lobbing as much of this stuff as I can possibly muster into here because you get more bone meal than you actually use up when you shove all of these uh, different bits and pieces into the, into the chewer over there. So I took out a little bit. I've already got the bone meal that I needed back. So I've made up half a stack of bone meal already. I've only done this about half a dozen times. So I'm just going to carry on doing this and grind this out for a little while because it's the only way I'm going to be able to get all the bones I need to be able to go and start building some orc stuffs, which is what I really want to do today. I'm also about to go over to the end. So don't run away because we've got some fantastic things coming. Hello, my name is Avamance and I'm a diamond block shulker addict. Yes, I'm afraid. They only went and restocked it, didn't they? And now what have I got to do? I've got to go in and I've got to put in one diamond block. Come on, other man. Don't be silly. One diamond block. And nothing happens. Nothing happens. What? Hey? Eh? Nothing happens. <gasps> oh, it came out. Oh, it's a black one. Is it rubbish? It's full of... Oh, I don't know. You know what? That's not terribly rubbish. It's... Okay, spider's heads. It's not terribly rubbish. It's just not amazing. It just means I've got to put another one in. I'm going to put all of my diamond blocks into this stupid game. A white one. I don't know what a white one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I'll take that. Oh, well, well, I think I just, um, I think I'm going to walk quietly away now. Don't, don't follow me. Don't follow me. You never saw me. I wasn't here. Time to get ourselves over to the nether and some of the team, I know Chim and Pearl and a number of others have been putting the gates 
up on top of the never again so as it's a lot easier to get there which i'm really quite glad about because i have literally no clue how to get to the stronghold unless i do it on the nether roof and frankly even if i do it on the nether roof i'm not entirely certain which way it is we've got to go found it took a little bit of flying around though because well i'm rubbish the signage is appalling we've got to get the signage better yeah blame it on other people don't blame it on yourself ever that's the way forward right get yourself in here you got everything you need you got your red shulker box. Yeah, we're away. Let's do this. Okay, now don't die because dying would be bad. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a quick flyby of the Rainbow Road because it is so awesome. Logical Geek Boy just blows my mind away with the effort that he's put into this. And we've got some amazing plans for this coming in the next few weeks. I'm really excited about what we're going to do. So do not go anywhere because that's going to be awesome. Right, where's, where's the thing? Where's the thing gone? Hang on, I can't find it. There it is. Oh, I thought I'd lost it for a minute then. I thought the Endermelon had gone. Surely not. That would be bad. Right, don't die. For goodness sake, don't die. Make sure you land on this helipad with finesse and cleverness and accuracy. <laughs> or just with a bump, which is absolutely fine too. Hello, Ender Bobbies. We are going to do some fun stuff now, right? So where's my shulker? I'm going to pop this shulker down there because we've got some enchanting to do. I've got 20 books and all I want to do is basically enchant a lot of them just for the fun of it. For no other reason, just to see what I can't get. It's not because I want to sell them or anything like that. I just want to see what I can't get to try and augment my already amazingness in terms of the uh, enchanted stuff. It's not amazing. It's really not. I need more stuff. Desperately. What did an idiot bring? The idiot didn't bring lapis, so now he's got to go and get lapis. What a plank, for goodness sake. I've got myself up to level 39, because obviously the higher you go with your levels, the more points it takes to go to the next level. So there's not a lot of point in getting yourself up to level 60. You might as well get yourself up to being able to do a few enchantments at level 3, and then go and get some more, which is why doing it here is the best possible place. So I'm just going to get some books. I'm going to come in here. Actually, before I do anything, I'm going to... D lapis, some lapis, there we go. And we're going to come in here, we're going to get that, and we're going to see what books we can't get. So, protection, power, protection three, is it just protection three? Yeah, it is. I've got a feeling this is going to end up being quite a boring session. Power three, there we go. Give us something really interesting, go on, otherwise, people are going to stop watching me. I'm also thinking about recycling some of these books. So, for example, protection two, there, a little bit rubbish. Let's take that book back take the experience back and see if we can't turn that into something a little bit more interesting so protection to then becomes or oh, except i've not got it so thorns or loyalty or stuff like that except i've not put enough lapis in there so if i go loyalty is that worth having loyalty one bit rubbish so let's pop that in there take it back out again get some experience back Pop that back in there. Is it going to give me anything I want this time? Sharpness, three fish, blast protection. That might be a bit more useful, especially if I'm going to take beds into the never. I'm going to carry on like that. I've enchanted all of these books now, and I think I've got quite a decent collection that I'm going to add on to my various tools and also a little bit of stash for us to use later on. Things like Depth Strider, I've not got anything like that. Feather Falling 3 to up, and I'm going to up my levels a little bit more because I'm only on 29 so that includes it in you yes you and hopefully I'll come away with some really godlike armor and weapons well I've pretty much done it all but I've managed to break both not just one but both of the anvils so I've got to go and replace those I'll be back doing that and then we're going to get ourselves over to the orc settlement I am very happy with what we have done with some of this armor and weapons like so well, forget the shovel that's not what i'm talking about so that sword is now well buffed this is all very nice looking thank you very much all of a sudden i feel just a little bit more protected and able to do stuff now what we've got to do is banners i need to play around with banners now banners is not my forte but i've been discussing with some of my patrons as to what the best banner design is going to be and what i need to do is i need to get myself a banner which is a stick and I need a red banner because that's a red based banner. And I'm going to do that there. And I've been playing around and I'm hoping that I'm going to get this right. Oh, no, but I need a flower pattern first. I better go and get an oxide daisy. And now I can just make myself banner pattern doing that. There we go. Flower charge banner pattern. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional for goodness sake. 
Come on, up we go. Now what I need to do, and I need to think very carefully about this because if we do it wrong, it's not going to work. Now I need black dye, and I need black chevron, which I think is that fella, isn't it? That comes out, and then I need red pale, which is, I've got to think, I've got to think, is that, right? Red pale, there we go. And then I need black flower charge. I'm making this up, I'm making this up. There we go. That's the black flower charge there. And keep the black flower charge because that's forever now. And red base indented, red. And the base indented, which is that one there like that. And that gives me that banner. And then what I can do if I want to is do a gradient at the back like not that that I'm I'm uncertain on this I've got to be honest I think I think I'm actually going to keep it as this one from now on I reckon that's what we're going to do and then what I can do then is get myself more banners and I can make more of them so I'm just going to pop this banner up so you can see it this is what we're gonna have. This is totally for the horde. I'm so pleased, look, that is a cracking banner. I love it. Get this back, get this back, get this copied, and then we've got to get ourselves over to the horde encampment. And we are back here. I'm really excited to be back here, actually. It's gonna be fun getting some more stuff moving. But unfortunately, I've not got replay mod sorted out for 116 yet, and my cam account is playing up. So we're gonna have to do this through a series of jump cuts. So what I need to find is a suitable spot to do my jump cutting from. And I wonder whether up here might be a good shout, you know. I'm gonna get myself a little vantage point and we'll see how we go. I found the best vantage spot and it's just in front of Catherine Elizabeth's Night Elf Village, which I think is hilarious. In fact, we've got a Night Elf Village right next to an orc settlement and around is exactly where we're looking. So I'm gonna aim myself at that little blue block in the middle there. And this is gonna be the scene that we try and change a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna change it, how much we're gonna change it, or indeed where we're gonna change it. I'm gonna kind of go with it until I run out of resources basically. But let's get ourselves some stuff going. Let's crack on. And I have managed to run out of resources again, but we didn't do too bad. We've got the wall running all the way around to the next guard tower. We've got ourselves a number of banners starting to go up. I need to get so much more red wall. I'm gonna banner this place like it doesn't know what's happened. And then we've got another two houses as well. A fairly decent session. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making it. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.